And this one is another public uh, service video here uh, working on modern hardware that doesn't work. It's a fairly recent beat spill and it works when it's plugged in. Kind of, sort of, sometimes. Well, it worked when it was plugged in, plugged in and it wouldn't charge. And uh, I tried the um, reset, so you press the B and the power button for 10 seconds. That should turn the back green. But no better luck. Well, that was working. There you go. Okay. So it works, but it won't charge. So I suspect uh, something's wrong with the battery inside. I'll just open it up and see what happens. So to open it up, uh, you have to remove the, the bottom rubber and there are a whole bunch of screws here. So that should be relatively easy. Okay, let me uh, fudge with it off camera and see if I can open it up. So it seems that I have found a way just pry this thing off. And okay, so touch on the other side. Okay, found that the uh, the attachment point is right here, so you have to pry it off right at the end. Let's see if I can do the same on the other end. Was this one done? Was this one? Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. Just push right there, and here you have it. So. Just push a little bit in here and it will open up. Okay, and what I suspect is that the batteries are bad. Oh, the flex goes to the front right here. Okay, so I have to take out the little flex here. Boink. Move this guy up. So the flex can slide out. At the same time, because it's embedded in that sticky stuff, as uh, a connector at the back. Oh uh, man. Oh, is that one hell? This one should come out like my point. There we go. So, flex plus connector. Alright, uh, and this guy should be pretty straightforward. This is our charging connector. Uh, Hopla, off it goes. <laughs> Come out of your... Oh, there's flex in there. There's this darn flex at the bottom, which goes, what does it do? Oh, it's the antenna. <laughs> and this thing is falling apart. There you go. Antenna unglued. Sucks. 
process. So the battery comes apart as one unit. I could have tested it on board just from the connector. And it's a 7.4 volt, thousands and fifty milliamp hour. Two of them, I don't know if they're in series or parallel. Uh, it's weird that both would go bad at the same time, so I'm wondering if the charger circuit is bad or what. Okay. Go. Yeah, four volts here. Four volts there. Six volts here. Seven volts there. So it is charging, just trying to charge every one of them. And it's the first. The first one is the first element's not good. So there is a bad element. So I opened the cells where I was at it. Just ex exacto knife, got through the plastic envelope. So I could probe in it and Definitely one cell is okay. This there's one cell that's 3.7 and one cell is not. It's very equal equal to zero. So this cell is bad and I wonder if the fuse has blown or something. It has a, a little thermal fuse in it, so let me test that one. The fuse okay. Okay, so we just have a bad cell right here. That's what the problem is. So I have to find another one of these. So it's a 3.7 volt, 1050 milliamp hour. I have to get that. So I went on Amazon and uh, ordered a replacement battery. Like you cannot order just one cell. I couldn't find any just one cell replacement. So they give you this stuff, which is looks like a, a good duplicate of the original. Comes straight from Shenzhen. Just takes a month and a half by boat. And it's going to make the repair simple because I just have to plug it in. So let's try to put this thing back together. Antenna underneath. So this thing is so annoying to put back together. So the wires, you have to bend them, they go around here and this goes face up. Okay, go in your holes, you darn connector. There we go. I need the USB connector to be back. Okay, so once you have that, then you can do the antenna. And once you have that, you can put the little foam thingy. Okay, so wire management is kind of painful. There's not much space, but the wires come out on the side and go around the little pillar and then it's so long I forgot how I took it apart. Oh, great. And you use the screws with the little integrated washers. Okay. Not quite yet. All right, this needs to get in. Okay, this clicks. Oh, it turned on. Yeah. I can see a LED. All right. All right. Can I try it off? There we go. All right. So I think chances that this is repaired if I don't mess up and put it all back together are pretty good. And now I can use the weird shaped little wedgy thingies. 
Okay, so, and then um, I have this and that to reattach. Okay, after a review of the original dismantling video, this gets secured by those two screws, the medium long one. And you go in here. What a terrible design, I man, it's... The design is beautiful, but man, for assembly, the Foxconn people must be very unhappy about this. It's very awkward. Alright, so that reconnects right here. So, okay, the last hurdle here is the flex connector, and to get those to work, you have to raise this little guy or that will never work and uh, now I have to wow where is my good HP stuff that's so easy to put together I have to attach those two connectors at the same time because I have to get them both at the same time in there Oh, miniature, so the plug in the back is easy, and then the flex is going to fight me to, now during that time that thing goes away. I don't know if I got it or not. Okay, home stretch here four screws, the button that came out and the rings and I think the button is going to be the most difficult because I couldn't put it back together when I tried last time. Okay, got it. Turns out the buttons have a direction so the little tab must go up. Uh, now we do a big squeeze, 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 and the rubbery thingy, whatever is there left and right on this thing, yes there is, Grr, you have to match those two things with those two little things. right in so it's a very tight attachment and uh, a very tight reassembly and and the rubber gets in the way so do yourself a favor put a rubber band around it and this only goes one way in you have to start with the two rubbery buttons then the next step is the button at the back like this one, make sure it's free, it's yeah, kind of. And then you have to stretch it over the beats button in the front. And maybe I've done it right. So I think I am almost there. And let me charge it for a little while and see what we have. It's connected. Works. Try the um. The. Um, it works. Do 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 the volume buttons work? This is the one I'm more worried about. I'm not your father. It does. And, and the, what does the B button do? Oh, I, did, I don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. I so that's repaired. Or so whatever. I don't know. There you go. Yes. Yeah, have it back. <laughs>